we had every reason to believe that very soon uh, Matt Gates and his crime story would be back in the news. And it has just exploded back into the news as Gates associate Joel Greenberg has now pleaded guilty to six federal crimes, including sex trafficking of a teen. Exactly the same crime that Matt Gates is being investigated for. Now, as a reminder, Joel Greenberg is a former tax collector in Florida, Seminole County. When we learned that this Joel Greenberg decided to cooperate with investigators, Greenberg's lawyer Fritz Scheller held a hilarious press briefing outside a courthouse and was straight up asked, did your client Joel Greenberg introduce Matt Gates to underage girls? And check out the then hilarious response from Greenberg's lawyer. Did, did, so, did your client introduce Matt Gates to any underage girls for sexual relations? All right. So I'm just going to let you sit down there and so I can look over your head and ignore that question. <laughs> I apologize. I, I just can't answer that question. I wasn't. Okay. What, <laughs> That was that was a little devious. You're hiding down there below and then you, you zing that at me, you know? So Yeah, well, it's looking very, very bad. Again, six guilty pleas for Joel Greenberg, sex trafficking a minor, ID theft, stalking and fraud. And again, remember, we learned a couple of weeks ago about a letter sent by Joel Greenberg to Roger Stone admitting that he introduced Matt Gates to young girls. The six charges that Greenberg has pled guilty to, that's down from 33 charges. We can only imagine it's six instead of 33 because of his cooperation, which should be very scary for Congressman Matt Gates. Now, on the sex trafficking of a minor charge, the specific admission is that Greenberg admits to recruiting women for commercial sex acts and paying them more than seventy thousand dollars between 2016 and 2018. This is quickly getting very ugly for Matt Gates. And the only question now is if and when Gates will get indicted. Some people called into the show last week and said, David, of course, Gates is getting indicted. I'm not sure. And we'll get back to that. Gates has, of course, denied all wrongdoing. And on the Friday show this week, I'm going to talk a little bit about do sexual assault allegations matter anymore in politics? Do they matter? to Democrats, but not to Republicans, or do they not matter at all at this point in time? We're going to talk about that Friday. Maybe in this case, Republicans should go sort of with the Trump riots defense. Remember how Trump has said, you know, it wasn't real Trumpists rioting on January 6th. It was like Antifa in disguise or something. Maybe they go with Matt Gates is really Antifa in disguise. Matt Gates isn't really a Republican. I don't know. Um, it's important to remember, though, that if you are Joel Greenberg, you do not plead guilty even to the six charges, never mind 33, unless you really uh, are, are had dead to rights by investigators. You are setting yourself up at least potentially for some serious prison time by pleading guilty. You do not plead guilty to sex trafficking of a minor unless you have figured out a way to get leniency by informing about others or something. Now, in all seriousness, are we going to get accountability? Because for the last several weeks, Gates almost seems emboldened by this investigation. He's been running around doing these America first tour events, promoting all sorts of election lies, writing off this entire investigation as some kind of partisan witch hunt, which he conveniently fails to mention that the investigation started under Donald Trump. Donald Trump's in, uh, uh, Justice Department started looking at Gates but was stonewalled by political appointees to the Justice Department who were political appointees of Donald Trump. So it's a story with so much of what's wrong right now. Two tier justice system, cronyism, belligerent arrogance, hypocrisy, double standards. It's everything. Let's now see if there is accountability. Uh, I hope that there is last week or the week before I said, I don't know if Gates is going to end up indicted. I got a few calls and even played a voicemail from one caller who said, David, I don't know if you're just trying to be balanced, but of course, Matt Gates is getting indicted. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Uh, let's see if there is accountability. It seems as though the leash is starting to tighten and we're going to continue following it. We will have more coverage of the Matt Gates fiasco 
on our Instagram, which you can find at David Pakman show. If you want to see video of my garden, if you want to break from politics, check out my really intense lettuce. Yes, L E T T U C E uh, on my Instagram. David Pakman. Find me there. Quick break back after this. One of our sponsors today is Covid Rescue Fund. Covid Rescue Fund is helping small business owners who have lost their businesses during Covid. There are over 100,000 small businesses that have had to close their doors since the pandemic began. There are many organizations out there helping businesses who are still open to stay afloat. But Covid Rescue Fund is one of the few organizations working to help businesses reopen who have had to close covid rescue fund crowdsources funds to provide grants up to one hundred thousand dollars for these owners to create new businesses. I would implore anyone in my audience to help covid rescue fund in their mission by donating at covid rescue fund dot org. All money that you give is going to the mission, not to compensating people who work for the organization. The founders of Covid Rescue Fund are big fans of The David Pakman Show. Let's help them bring back as many small businesses as we can. The link is right underneath this video.